day two. Alexa, what's the date and time? The date and time can be found by asking a question. For example, what is the date and time? Or it's Friday, January 5th, 2024, 6.46 a.m. Thank you, Alexa. Back to day two of the 30-day challenge. Today's affirmation is, I am awesome. Yes, you are. You are awesome. Say that to yourself. This is a different type of affirmation because for me personally, it evokes a lot of emotion. Now, this one is a little bit more hyped up, more bubbly, and I want you to big yourself up today and tell yourself that you are awesome. I am awesome. A lot of the times we are saying negative words about ourselves, so let's inject some positivity and say, I am awesome. Okay, so we're gonna focus on that word, awesome and the workout for today will be on the screen <laughs> on it all right so let's get started with a but before we do make sure if you haven't warmed up to click on the links in the description box or in the pdf that you so have cardio today the private facebook group okay, enough is enough i'm tired of being happy i'm tired let's jump in down okay i'm tired of being good i'm tired I want to go to the Dillard Chicken by the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Aaron Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you know where you are. You're giving 60% that you have 120 million. Watch, because you never made a decision. I was a boy this morning. You're already there. Your problem is this is stuff you don't want to give up. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Listen to me. Power for power. Any agent in the room. Power for power. Motivational speaker. Power for power. Entrepreneur. Power for power. Athlete. Power for power. Weightlifter. Power for power. Whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love She's that going to walk too much. Too much. You love that life too much. Whatever. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goal. Watch what happens when you have a goal that we have two reasons. See how long it lasts. Watch a goal that has 50 reasons and see how There's some, somebody called me the other day on the interview. It's too big white. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like? Yeah, ask the question again, please. Well, what do you do on the days that you don't feel like? So I'll be honest with you, I'm way past that every day I feel like. Oh. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving like my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every, every single day of my life, I feel like giving up other people. Every single day, somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave one twenty. What you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know. Give one forty. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to wait. No more 50%, no more. No more 70%, no more. I want to 85 and climb. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Everything you got, no more TV, no more parties, no more plans. If you have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Get off the phone. Sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. Number, but you called me at the wrong time. 
Call me back January 1st. I'm about to get busy now. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the street. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. I gotta commit my very gene to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. So when I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s, they went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about hearts. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have hearts. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. There are a lot of people that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. Now, what you gonna do about it? We're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were the market? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, because everybody knows you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I say, do you want to teach in a riding school? Well, let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something, which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing. Which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. The only way to become a master of something is to be really good at it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much, uh, that's, uh, everybody's, uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others will. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like. Wake up from your dream and make your dream a reality. Wake up. Wake up and understand the significance of the purpose that you have within yourself. Understand that if it's something that you are truly ultimately seeking in your life, then you got to go after it. There are a lot of people that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. Now, what you gonna do about it? How are you gonna go about doing the things that are necessary to get you where you need to be in your life? Everybody has a dream. Well, how much are you applying to that dream? How far are you pushing that dream? When are you going to realize that the dream is not going to work by itself? You got to have the ability to rise up and push yourself and believe in yourself and make that dream a reality. What's your why? I, hey, if I don't give y'all nothing else, you better start that. What's your why? You know why I do what I do and I do it so passionately? Because my grandfather was a high school dropout. My father was a high school dropout. I was a high school dropout. And we about to break the cycle. I do what I do. So my son won't have to go through what I went through. When I was at the football game, my old dude went with me. I saw other kids with their father. I said, that'll never happen to me. I do what I do because my daughter said she's going to Harvard. It ain't even about y'all. I'm about to come here and blame y'all. Why? Because I'm trying to get you all the NFL. I ain't about to miss this opportunity. This is the first NFL team I've ever done in my life, and I'm about to lick it. I'm about to get everything I got, and I will know if I don't get another gig, it won't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't put everything on the field. What's your why? Why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you put on that jersey? Why do you go out and practice? Why? I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got I to gotta breathe it, I got to eat it, I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. 
But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard, and you can have whatever it is you want. Why do you refuse to see the truth that's right in front of you? Do something positive today for your mind, your body, your soul, and for someone else.